Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And what would you say if I told you that desperation can be a good thing? Desperation can be a good thing. I know a lot of you are thinking, I don't ever want to be desperate. I want to be, uh, like my brother used to always say, fat and happy. You know, just with no worries, no cares, no anything. But desperation is a blessing when it drives us to Jesus. Uh, we're looking at Psalm 63 today, and, and I want you to listen to this, because this is King David before he was king. He says, O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you, so I will bless you as long as I live in your name. I will lift up my hands. Now that's just the first four verses of this beautiful psalm. But David, again, before he's king, he is desperate for God. He wants to know God. He wants to have God in his life. He wants to be at peace with God. And he says, earnestly, I seek you. I seek you. So if your desperation in life leads you to seek God, it is a good, good thing. Let me say that again. If your desperation in life leads you to seek God, it's a good thing. It's a blessing. Because God promises us that when we seek him, we will find him when we seek him with all our heart. And desperation drives us to that. We're not talking about casually or lethargically or kind of hoping you bump into God, but desperately seeking him. And when you do, you're going to find, like David said, that his love is better than life. Now, think about this. David wrote this and he's being pursued. He's being chased. He's, his life is under threat. And he says, the love of God is better than my physical safety. The love of God is better than my physical health and well-being. Now that's a huge statement for us because we, you know, we freak out about our safety. We worry about our lives. We're desperate about our health. And, and David says, no, don't be desperate about all those things. Be desperate for God because when you find God, when you have that personal life-changing relationship with Jesus, you find that his love, his presence in your life is better than life itself. And, and he says, he goes on, he says, look, his love is what gives you real value uh, because when you know his love, then it's, it's like having a whole new life. And then he goes on to say, when you understand this, when you know God's love intimately with you know, that life-changing power of the Holy Spirit in you, he says, my lips are going to praise you. I'm going to bless you as long as I live. And in your name, I'm going to do everything, even lift up my hands. Everything I do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to praise you. See, I hope and pray that today you found that God's love for you makes all the difference. Because when you know that you're valued by God enough that he would sacrifice his one and only son for you, when you know that you're secure in that love and that heaven is your home, it changes everything. So my goal personally, and I hope you'll share this one with me, is that I want to praise Jesus with every breath that he gives me and even with the last breath that I have, I want to praise Jesus. I hope that helps, and I hope you have a blessed day. God bless.